Well, a terrifying sight in Venice where an RV burst into flames as the people inside are forced to escape from a window. Neighbors say it's just the latest example of the danger happening on their streets. KCAL News reporter Joy Benedict live at the scene. Joy, with what you're learning tonight. Yeah, that's right, Leslie. I wish this we could say this was the first time we have seen an RV catch fire, but it's not often it happens in this particular way. But take a look at the scene that's left behind on this street. More than 24 hours later, what's left of the belongings just stringing alongside the shell of an RV. But investigators say this fire was no accident. It's a burned out shell that's hard to miss on Lake Street in Venice, an eyesore and reminder of a dangerous problem on LA streets. And the video from nearby security cameras is downright frightening as an RV went up in flames in a flash on Friday afternoon. I was home alone and I started smelling like a huge like fire smell. Neighbors didn't know what to do, but watch what happened just moments before as two people climbed out the back window trying to get to safety after the fire started inside. It's sad. We always see, like, we see these people often, like, we walk around here and we drive around here. This RV was part of a small encampment a block from Lincoln Boulevard, something neighbors say they've been complaining about for months. We pay a lot of money, like, just being, like, residents here in the city, and so, like, you don't want to, like, pull out your apartment and, like, see just, you know, RVs, like, every time. You... The RV situation is not good. It smells like you know, urine and filth. Those living in nearby RVs say it was a family who lived here. They even saw children, but it doesn't appear they were here when the fire started. And investigators say it was arson, an argument that turned violent and destructive as one of the men living inside set the home on fire. It's pretty unfortunate, I guess, now that I got the uh, circumstances. But neighbors say it doesn't change the issue. I would like for them to get housing and for the economical situation to, to be better and for things to be treated in a different way in this country. But... LA City Council member Tracy Park released a statement saying in part, like many Angelinos, I am angry and saddened by these situations. I will continue working every day to make progress and implement rules and programs that will ultimately lead to a solution. That's what every politician talks about every time they get elected and it's never changes. But these neighbors are tired of talk. They want something done. You know, it's not humane to have people in RVs. So what's the next step? You have to get housing. Now, the LAPD tells me they did take one man who apparently lived here into custody. He was arrested for domestic violence as well as suspicion of arson. Leslie.